everyone, this is another video about retro gaming stuff and today we're going to talk about the Atomish Wave. I already made a video where uh, one of my friends uh, have trouble uh, because he didn't have like a controller so I made a joystick. You can check the video about that. And uh, now I have another issue is if you want to plug an Atomish Wave, of course you can use a super gun and about your uncle, you have your uh, power supply, you get your uh, controller uh, new Geo controller plug, your service test, and your output. The issue is the Atomish Wave is outputting in RGB, so if you want to plug this device uh, on a consumer grade TV uh, on Europe, you don't really care because you got like a 9 pin or an 8 pin output, so you can just use this card. Um, but if you want to plug it on a TV uh, on, in North America, and you don't have a uh, component uh, only um, S-Video or a composite TV, you don't have really uh, much solution. So, one thing which is cool with uh, the Atomish Web, it's, uh, it has uh, a VGA output, so you can choose here if you want uh, a 15 kilohertz or 31 kilohertz output, but this will be really helpful because I made this device, so this is a device in two parts, and this will output basically whatever you want uh, since it's a plug on the VGA here for the uh, audio and basically all the signal from VGA is converted and you have on the top uh, a, a hat system so you can plug, uh, you can do your own one and you can have uh, whatever you want. I'm going to zoom in and show you exactly how this is working. So this is uh, a close-up uh, from the device. I'm going to separate the top and try to explain how this uh, Atomic Wave material is working. So it takes VGA. It's based on uh, Mike Chi uh, VGA to a SCART converter, uh, but I have some uh, modification. It takes the audio and the 5 volt from the uh, extension connector uh, of the Atomish Wave here and uh, from there we got a 5 volt uh, like uh, we got we got a fuse and a ferret and we got the VGA uh, conversion. This is an uh, AD725, if I remember correctly. And this, if you uh, are uh, familiar with uh, my product, uh, you can see uh, this is a DFO. So it can do NTSC, but it also can do PAL uh, composite uh, S video and of course RGB. So the RGB signal. Here I use for the uh, uh, VGA and are used uh, with uh, no pump. Here uh, THS uh, 7473 or 7374. I, I don't remember, but uh, the one from uh, 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 Texas Instruments uh, for uh, op pump signal RGB signal. Here we got some uh, capacitor for the. Um, S video so chroma and uh, luma and everything here uh, is all this, the, 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 the circuit I don't have anything for the audio because I want to let people uh, have the choice uh, if they are using an, uh, an, amplificat, an, an amplifier uh, inside their cabinet so they will still can use the um, direct output and here are, is the hat, which is going on the top like that. And uh, this is just like a small caps here because the uh, composite signal is also used here on the Mini D9. And we've got some audio to put the, uh, the signal, direct signal into line, nine, line in uh, signal. Of course, we got some switch here we got the uh, LPF filter and we got the NTSC or PAL uh, here we can use 
uh, SCART, um, Genesis 2, SCART Mini DIN 9 pin or uh, HD retrovision cable. It should work just fine. And if you don't like that, the advantage is like you can, I will publish all the, 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 the file on GitHub, but you can do your own uh, hat, your own uh, top adapter with, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, uh, jack uh, 3.5 millimeters uh, audio and then uh, um, S-Video and composite if you don't really care about RGB at all because your, your security screen is not, is not supporting it. So of course I cannot let this uh, PCB just like that. I uh, made some uh, 3D printed enclosure. Uh, it's a bit bulky to my test but it's kind of difficult to make something smaller. There you go and then you can choose the LPF filter ANTSC or PAL on the top. So uh, we are in the front of my CRT and uh, the uh, Tommy Schweb is here. It's plugged into its super gun and here is my RCA connection. I'm going to plug it into not easy with one hand one hand. There you go. Now I'm going to power it on. Ah, as you can see, I'm in black and white, so the device is still in PAL. I'm going to change it into. There you go. And now it should be in color. So it's outputting uh, NTSC. There you go. You can see it's in color now. So it's outputting uh, PAL 60 Hertz. If you uh, try to plug it into a, a PAL system. So I'm not sure. Now you can see, and if I unplug it,
So of course I will publish everything uh, on GitHub uh, and I will have only five of them on my um, shop. Uh, the reason is um, this is quite expensive uh, to build on my uh, on my own and I'm not sure if the product is going to be popular so I'm going to have only five of them and eventually if I'm going to be out of stock uh, quickly I make, I'm going to make another five batch uh, but uh, yeah I really don't know if this product is going to be popular uh, but uh, hey if you want to make one uh, check on the description of the github and if you want to buy one uh, check uh, uh, on the store and uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.